here early April. We're in Holyoke, Massachusetts, Food Forest Farm. It's a pretty nice one. There's actually two together. This is a sea kale. Here is uh, the buds of the sea kale from last year, about to sprout. Um, some leaves out and so essentially what we're doing is is I, I uh, this is how I propagate sea kale is I dig up a crown here's the other half and you can see the roots coming out from it and I will uh, take a bunch of the cuttings from the root and so here's a perfect size for uh, for propagation there's some circular rings there along the root and that's where, where new sprouts will come It'll harden off, and then where these little ridges are is where the roots will come out, and some roots will come up from the bottom. So here, here's a, a new plant that will be potted and then sold in the nursery. So what I'll do is I'll dig these more. So here are, um, this is a, some spring seedlings, uh, probably from last year. So they're second year seedlings of Turkish Rocket. Um, there's four here. So we're going to take them out and um, I'll probably pot them for the nursery. There's the taproot of the Turkish rocket. So this is my technique for sprouting. Um, we have a sterile medium, in this case it's uh, peat moss. You can also use perlite or a coconut core, and it's they've been in here for about three weeks, two to three weeks. So this is a, a sea kale cutting, and usually what I do is right around the time I get it to sprout like this, I'll pot it up, um, and eventually we'll get it to sprout more inside the pot, and inside the pot also it starts to root the, the base and on the, on the edges. Here's the uh, essentially the final product. Uh, at full sprouts and um, in about a month from now it'll be able to be sold um, as, a, as a potted plant. Okay, here we are, it's the middle of May. Um, perfect perennial broccoli season. In this case, we're looking at sea kale. Um, sea kale is a wonderful spring vegetable, comes up right around asparagus time. And um, here we have the, the, the sea kale broccolis. We don't eat the leaves this time of year, we wait until the fall to eat the leaves, but right now it's perfect to cut down near the crown for the nice, juicy, tender broccoli flower stalk. There you go, we eat the whole stalk. It's nice and tender at this point, including the broccoli head. And what's really beautiful about this is the, the sea kales, when they come up this time of year, will do this every year um, for a long time. These are perennial. So some of these patches here have been here for over 10 years. Here we have uh, another perennial broccoli, the Turkish Rocket, Bunius orientalis. And it's a uh, perfect uh, time right now to harvest. Cut down near the base and we cook this. This is the broccoli head, you can see it. Uh, kind of like a broccoli rob. And uh, we eat the whole um, flower stalk here plus these extra leaves. Um, stir fry it and it's delicious mustardy broccoli.
I'll just throw a couple of each in and um, see what we got here. And grab a little water. So we're just really um, just kind of cooking it down just for a couple of minutes. I think what I'll do is I'll just put the top on and let that cook just really for a couple of minutes like you would serve asparagus or any um, cooked vegetable. You still want it a little crispy, of course. So there's the sea kale, broccoli. Mm. Now the, the sea kale is um, more of a sweet broccoli type and the Turkish rocket's more of a mustardy broccoli rob. Another thing that's fantastic about this is instead of just having asparagus in the spring, We've, we've tripled our um, shoot season. We have Turkish Rocket and, and Sea Kale. So we now have three perennial vegetables we can, at least, we can harvest this time of year and um, have even more abundance. Here we are at uh, Food Forest Farms Production Farm. We're in Holyoke, Massachusetts, down near the Connecticut River, uh, at Noestos Rice's farm. I'm leasing a small plot of land here, and um, I use this space to produce the mother plants that I do my propagation from. Uh, and I wanted to show you uh, Turkish Rocket. Here it is in full bloom. This is in the mustard family, so it's obvious this yellow mustard flower. Earlier in the season, we were eating these uh, fresh, tender uh, mustard broccolis, but now they're no longer tender. They're really no longer edible. They're woody, getting woody now. But you can see the, the beauty, the size, um, and they're covered in um, beneficial insects, uh, whether that's uh, pollinators or bees, both native and honeybees, seraphid flies, wasps. Um, so it's a great addition to the garden, other than just edible and beautiful. And here we have sea kale in full bloom. The, the honey scent is just wafting around me right now. It's quite stunning and amazing. Uh, it's another beautiful ornamental plant. We, were, we are growing these for the broccolis. Um, and now, a couple weeks later, uh, you can see that these broccolis have um, developed more and then they've opened up. And so that's what we're seeing here. Um, and then in another couple weeks, they'll be full of seed pods and the stalks will turn woody, uh, die back, and you'll get back to the leaf stage in the fall. Hi again, we're back at the Noesos Raices plot and we're here to check out the fall foliage um, and vegetables for sea kale and Turkish rocket. It's a beautiful fall afternoon, nice and rainy, perfect weather here to be gardening. So here we are in front of this enormous Turkish rocket bed and we're looking at the fall foliage. This is October. I wanted to show you all um, another potential uh, edible part of the Turkish rocket. Here we go. This is the leaf. And the new, the new leaves here are actually quite tender at this stage in the fall. You can eat them raw. The, I like this, the stalk part, this white uh, petiole part. It's uh, mustardy, spicy. but. I prefer actually to cook them up and you can uh, make them into any kind of stir fry, mustardy vegetable. Cook them in Indian food, Asian food. They're really good, really healthy, high in protein. We're 
we're now checking out the sea kale. Here I have in my right hand, this is the summer foliage. It is uh, wo more woody, it's darker colored, um, really, really thick and waxy, uh, and it's really not that great to eat. Here is the fall uh, new growth. It's um, much whiter and bluer. It actually is uh, more tender. You can actually break it really easily, like that. A lot less stringy. Um, and then this is what we like to stir fry up in the fall and eat. Well, I hope you enjoyed this perennial broccoli plant tour. You can get these perennial vegetables or other permaculture plants at foodforestfarm.com.